Hi, I'm Jenny, and today I will teach you how to use the Franklin Planner app. When you open the Franklin Planner application, you will see a screen that shows your mission statement. If you swipe, you'll be able to access the main menu where you can see task, schedule, note, calendar, master task, pen note, mission, search, and settings. At the top of the main menu, you can see today's date. To change the date, you can swipe left or right, or you can long tap to access a pop calendar pop-up. You can change the month and select a day, or you can long tap the title bar and manually select the year, month, and day to go to that day's tasks. To go back to today, tap the date region in the top corner. And to get back to the main menu, click the compass icon in the top right corner. To add a new task, click on the task icon in the main menu and click an empty space in the window. You can enter your task and select a priority rank from A0 to C2, set a status, and set a repetition, either daily, weekly, monthly, or yearly. You can also set an end date to the repetition. You can, from the main menu, you can select a status for a task. and also a priority level. You can select a status as forward and that moves that task to another day. You can view it in that day's task window. To add a new event to your schedule, select the schedule icon from the main menu and click on an empty space near the time of your event. Enter your schedule details and you can input a start date and time as well as an end date and time. You can classify your schedule as schedule, anniversary, or birthday. Set a repeat as daily, weekly, monthly, or yearly. and set an alarm to go off at a certain time before the event starts. You can also sync this to your Google Calendar or your Franklin Planner Calendar. You can change the time of an event by long tapping it and dragging it to the time that you want to change it to. You can also change the view options of the schedule window by clicking the title bar to show list view or timetable view. You can add a new note by selecting the note icon in the main menu and clicking in a blank space in the window. Enter your note in the text field. Select a category and you can add information about your location and add up to four attachments. From the main menu, if you click on the title bar, you can select the view option of your notes by today's notes, all notes, or by category. To add or delete categories, select category management to add or delete categories. To change the category, edit an, um, a note and save. You can view your monthly calendar 
by selecting the calendar icon from the main menu. You'll see the current month show up in the calendar. You can view a different day's events by clicking the day and seeing the day's schedule and tasks in the bottom screen. To add a new schedule, click an empty space and enter your information. You can also long tap a day to either go to that day's schedule, add a schedule, or add a task. From this window, you can go back to the calendar by selecting the calendar icon in the top corner. You can change the view options of your calendar by clicking the title bar to switch from calendar view to list view. You can also expand the window to full screen by swiping the title bar upward. To return to the normal view, um, swipe the title bar downward. To add a master task, select the master task icon from the main menu. Click an empty space in the window and enter your task. A master task is a task that you have to do but does not have a set date or time. You can long tap the master task to move it to task when you've designated a time or date, schedule, note, pen plus, share, or delete. When you move it to task, you can designate a priority, status, or repetition. Once you've moved a master task to task, it will be deleted from the master task window. To draw with the S Pen, click the pen note icon in the main menu and click on an empty space. You can choose the background type of your hand-drawn page, either task, schedule, note, or blank. You can select your pen type as either a pen, brush, bigger brush, pencil, or highlighter. And you can select the width and color. To save, press the save icon up here and name your pen note. The, in the pen note window, you can long tap and either edit or go to the daily screen for each pen note. For the daily screen, you can see at the bottom how many pen notes you have for this day. If you click on this, it shows you today's uh, pen note tasks. To show all, you can click the title bar and select any of the arrangement choices. You can use the S Pen to handwrite on an existing task, schedule, or note by selecting the icon in the main menu, long tapping, and dragging to the Pen Plus icon at the bottom. Here you can select your pen type and color, and drawing on the screen. You click Save and it will show up in the pen note window. To draw on a schedule, you can long tap and drag to the pen plus icon where you can also draw on the screen. And you can highlight text. You can search through all of your tasks, schedules, and notes by clicking the search icon in the main menu and entering your keyword. You can filter your results by task, schedule, 
Note, Master Task, Pen Plus, and All. Select the item you are looking for, and it will take you to that day. You can view your app settings by clicking on Settings in the main menu. You can back up and restore data under Settings. You can back up your data to your SD card and then later restore it from your SD card onto your device. You can also sync your calendar with a Google Calendar by clicking Google Calendar Settings and selecting the Google Calendar you want to sync with the app. After doing that, you can view your Google Calendar under Calendar and the Google Calendar events will show up with the little Google icon next to it. You can also view the calendar and your home screen widgets for this device. In the home screen widget you can see your monthly calendar with your different schedules in each day. You can also see a daily task and schedule page and you can access the app by tapping the widget. 